I'm finding it a very common occurrence that some days are, you feel like they're really good days where you get a lot achieved and other days where nothing gets done at all and today's been a really good day. With the roof raised behind us, it's time to refit the nose cone and fill in the gap from the 400mm lift. Done. That's the front done, ready for filling and smoothing with fiberglass and filler. Now to close in the rear. And there it is. I'll glass this with the front in the coming weeks. After some deliberation weighing up the cost to benefit ratio, we've decided to fit these self levelers that can automatically level the bus when we pull up on unlevel ground. We figure we'll spend much more time free camping than in caravan parks. And from experience, this means uneven ground more often than not. In addition, there's less likelihood of the slide outs causing issues from misalignment or even leaks when everything is true and straight. So we concluded it would be a good investment. I'm really impressed, babe. It's like you're building Iron Man. <laughs> <laughs> I cut 10 millimeter plate and drilled and tapped a thread ready to mount the levelers to it before welding the plate to the chassis. Well, it has got to be pretty strong. It's lifting a lot of bus off the ground. <gasps> That's right. Oh, yep. With all four plates welded, we mounted the levelers. And in the coming weeks, we'll fit the hydraulic pump and connect all the lines. Well, today, we're putting the floor in. <laughs> That's so not true. <laughs> Please I think deal. you get ahead of yourself a little bit sometimes. <laughs> We're putting in the subfloor, or starting to, so all the steel can start to go in and get welded to the existing chassis and, and frame that's here. That lifts it up the 50 mil that we need in order to get over the bin doors. Uh, for the slide outs.
Cool, well that's a wrap on our subfloor. Dan has been welding and I've been grinding and then painting uh, the primer over the new welds. And yeah, we're ready to do all that. What's the next well, part? Yeah, the next, <laughs> the next part is everything that goes under the floor before we put the ply down. So uh, essentially, and I'll just come in a little bit further. Um, essentially, it's the electrical work that's under the floor, it's the air conditioning uh, pipe work and ducting, etc. Uh, under the floor, we've got all the plumbing to go in. Uh, and then the hydraulic lines for the levelers. And essentially anything that we can do without the floor on means that we can work from the top and the bottom. So we've got you know, twice as much access. There's a lot of stuff could be done once the floor is in and certainly people who don't replace their floor have to do everything from underneath and it's certainly possible. Um, it's just much easier to do it from the top uh, if, if you can. Yeah. So we'll do as much as we can before we put a ply floor down. It's been a really interesting few weeks. Um, the first welds that we did, well, the first cuts that we did, and then welds, um, you know, we did it together, and I was holding the water, make sure that nothing caught on fire. We have all this marine carpet on the bottom of the bins, which, you know, loves to catch on fire with the smallest <laughs> spark. So, yeah, with the MIG welds, of course, the spark as well is just so much more powerful than the stick welding isn't it so mm. um we had to do that and then we i sort of said oh cool so we'll probably have this done in a, in a day <laughs> how long has it taken us uh, it's been two, two weeks, weeks i think since we put the first piece down uh and yeah i'm not the world's fastest welder and in fact this is my first rodeo rodeo when it comes to welding I, i've never welded with the mig welder um prior to uh, buying this one about uh, two or three months ago uh, and you know the first welds that I've done the settings are all wrong and I don't know what I'm doing really with it you know watched lots of YouTube videos and uh, it's true what they say though the only way to learn how to weld is to physically weld you've just got to get on it just watch you do it <laughs> <laughs> I have no desire to learn to weld um, but it is yeah the first thing that we've done on the bus where it's like where Dan has had to learn from scratch an entire new skill um, whereas the entire bus has been like that for me every step of the way everything is a new skill learning to use a grinder and learning to use the what's my favorite toy that um toy <laughs> <laughs> the Royobi the flat wheel flat wheel yeah that I yeah. love the flat wheel and the multi-tool um, and a hammer of course but you know it's it just goes to show um, that anything's possible with the right tool for the job we've all heard that it's always worth getting the right tool for the job um, obviously with welding there's no way around it if you're going to put in some strong um, foundations which is what we require for our slide outs um, so Dan had to learn that skill the alternative is you could have someone come and you could pay someone by the hour to do your welding as well just factor that into your budget if you have a budget um, other than that it's really just been trial and error for me hey mm. learning Dan will show me how to do something um, the proper way and then I might find my own little groove and way to do it ultimately though if you're using the tool correctly and, and in its proper way then ultimately the job does get done it's just a matter of the time that it takes and obviously Dan can do things so much quicker than I can um, but the mere fact of me being here doing things like grinding and then putting the primer on and stuff it's all taking um, adding value, value and time to the to, job yeah, yeah. like I, it, even if it takes D two hours to do something I can do in an hour that's an hour that I don't have to do something uh, and then next time D does it it'll only take an hour and a half so yeah. uh, you know this grinding and, and uh, using the flap wheel to get it nice and smooth so that we can lay apply floor onto nice smooth metal um, Dee's done a fantastic job she's as quick as I am now um, doing it having had the experience of, of hours learning it yeah so over and over done again. a great job repetition so mm. yeah don't be too disheartened for anyone out there who you know like me just actually not interested at all in learning how to use tools and you know do all that stuff 
um, the only thing that inspires me is the vision of our future together in this bus um, and you know what we'll achieve who will see the places we'll go the people we'll meet yeah that's the journey that keeps my heart going and keeps me alive in this build uh, there are days where I just feel completely overwhelmed and just cry because I'm like this is so overwhelming this is not my forte it's nothing that I'm unique at nor do I want to be I have no desire to do half the stuff I'm doing it's the uh, the finish line it's the end of the line you know and every little thing we do we just I just say to myself this is the job this is the job it's another step another and step. yeah we're one step closer again today and we're about to start her up let her blow off some steam she's been stationary for, again for another what six weeks six weeks two months so we'll we'll take it for a spin up the up the driveway and just get let the airbags uh, inflate okay. and and uh, you know get a bit of movement in the suspension so that there's you know, some lubrication through everything that needs it so that it doesn't stagnate so that when we are ready to go it uh, it'll start Not such up such a surprise and go, yeah. <laughs> um, yeah obviously all this welding you've got to disconnect the batteries but um, uh, when when they are disconnected we've got them on charge the whole time to make sure that uh, they don't uh, compromise the yeah what's de degrade they don't they don't uh, degenerate degenerate uh, is yeah, it? <laughs> I don't know, discharge something um, yeah it's important to keep your batteries especially big batteries like this they're not cheap to buy so you want to look after them for you know the, the six twelve months or whatever it is that you you're working on your house so, mm. yeah, we started every week still though. Yep. Yeah. Thursday is start the bus day. Yep. What's today? Thursday! Let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks so much for following along. Um, we really love the comments and support and likes and um, it really it really is inspiring to know that there's so many people following along liking what we're doing and, and you know seeing value in, in us putting these videos together. They're not an easy thing to for me at least to to put together as far as editing and, and making something that I feel is worth might be worth watching as opposed to just you know dumping an hour of video on this I don't want to be doing that so um, yeah thanks for following along if you do like it feel free to subscribe uh, hit the bell so you get notifications of our next video and we'll see we'll you on see the you. road somewhere yeah live large travel light indeed <laughs> <laughs> Bye. Bye for now. <laughs>